Eyes on the Future. Eyes on the Future brings you the celebrated writer and lecturer David O. Woodbury with comments on eyes and vision from the world of popular science, Alfredo Antonini on the orchestra, and stars the glamorous soprano of the opera and radio, Helen Jepsen. barriers to love, the song tells us, if we listen to the unfailing call that comes from within our hearts. Helen Jepsen sings, I'll Follow My Secret Heart. David O. Woodbury, writer of the popular column Your Life Tomorrow in Collier's Magazine, tells us that something new is going on in the world of television. So let's listen to a little talk called New Eyes for Television. Mr. Woodbury. The miracle of television, seeing life actually going on at a distance, has suddenly found a new eye. This eye is called the Image Orthicon, and with it, the television camera can pick up and send into our homes delicate details of scenes that we ourselves could not see, even if we were on the spot. The image orthicon is a complicated new electronic tube, so powerful yet so sensitive that it can see a room full of people illuminated by a single candle. It can pick up the contours of a face lighted only by the glow of a cigarette. It can even picture objects in a totally dark room using the heat they give out instead of visible light. What will this new eye do for television? Compare it for a moment with the older type of less sensitive electronic eye. Scenes to be televised have always had to have tremendous brilliance. Plays to be sent over the air had to be small, simple bits of action on small stages flooded with much light. Actors had to dress in strong contrasting colors, and even so, the effects were far from natural. Now, all this will be history very soon. When you buy your new television set in a few months, you will pick up programs that have the same wealth of subject and action that you are accustomed to find on the movie screen today. The Image Orthicon 
will help to make this possible. With it, science has found a way to transport the human eye and the marvels of natural vision to any point on the globe. And now Alfredo Antonini leads the orchestra in the ever-popular favorite, the Missouri Waltz. As Mr. Woodbury points out, television promises a whole new era in home entertainment. But whether or not we're going to get the fullest enjoyment out of it depends mainly on our eyes. If they blur, fog, see double, it may mean that television is only going to be another headache for us, another reason for feeling out of sorts and irritable. Because with faulty eyesight, all seeing tasks, whether at home, in the office, or the factory, become obstacles, obstacles to enjoyment, to health and success. That's why we should never let our eyesight become anything less than perfect. We can make it perfect because the finest professional counsel, care, and scientific skills are available to us to help us. With flawless eyesight, we will discover that a whole new world of happier living opens up for us. Happier living, healthier living, more successful living. The world is ours through our eyes. <laughs> Shadows lengthen in the summer twilight, and a soft wind whispers in the trees, whispers of love and memories. The beautiful soprano of Helen Jepson takes us by the bend of the river.
have been listening to Eyes on the Future with the beloved star of the opera and radio, Helen Jepsen, the well-known writer and commentator, David O. Woodbury, and the orchestra conducted by Alfredo Antonini. Eyes on the Future is presented each week at this time for your listening pleasure with the thought, The World is Yours Through Your Eyes. Thank you.